Okay, so this is a uh, wiring diagram that I drew up for the uh, Curtis ETXXX, which is the electronic throttle that was used on the truck or pallet truck that I was working on that had the uh, 1244 uh, Curtis motor controller. So, like I said, it was coding out to one but only at full throttle. And the code would go away once you uh, release the throttle and goes back to neutral. Now, my focus is going to be on this orange wire and this black wire. The orange wire, as you can see, goes to the connector and supposed to be connected to straight to battery negative. There are two other wirings that go to battery negative. I don't know what that is for because I don't have the schematic of the insides of the throttle module. So I'm guessing there's, there's a separate module in there that needs its own reference to battery negative. Right? So black goes to pin number 15 on the controller and this is the signal wire which gives a signal for the controller as far as the speed that you want to go. The output should be from 0 to 5 volts. 0 meaning there's no um, request for speed. So 0 can be considered as neutral and the 5 volts would be 100% throttle as the fastest you can go. So when I was reading up the manual the manual said that the maximum throttle fault would be at 5.5. So the way I understand it is that if you go beyond 5.5, then the controller is going to sense that there's a fault in the circuit. And true enough, when I measured from battery negative right here, so I had my black lead of my multimeter connected to battery negative and my positive lead connected to the black wire on the control module or the electronic module whenever I go at full throttle I would reach at least 5.7 volts so True enough, the controller is seeing more than 5.5. That's why it's coding out whenever you reach full throttle. So with this problem, I didn't pay attention to the black white and the white wire because those are um, the wiring for forward and reverse. And there's nothing really wrong with these two wires because the truck is, like I said, goes on forward, goes on reverse. And you don't have a problem really until you hit full throttle. Either in forward or in reverse. And just because there is a code, I'm not going to focus on those two. And this one, like I said, I already checked it. I measure more than 5.5 volts. Now, it's easy enough to say, okay... Because for sure there would be a regulator inside this module. B plus here goes into the module and B plus is 24 volts because this is a 24 volt truck. So battery voltage going in supplying power to the module is going to be 24 volts or over. And then for sure there would be some kind of regulator inside this circuit or inside this module. That was, that's going to regulate that voltage to 5 or drop down that voltage to 5 volts. So easy enough to say, okay, I'm getting more than 5 volts or 5.5. So easy enough, the voltage regulator inside this module is not working. And the voltage regulator is not replaceable in this module. If there's any problem with this module, you have to replace the whole module but how can we be sure that it is the electronic module that is at fault and it's not a wiring problem because we could easily get a misdiagnosis on this
system. So I'm going to pause this for a while and I'll bring up a simulation that I made that's going to show us the effect of corrosion or high resistance in the negative reference right here because that was the problem on this truck it wasn't the electronic module actually somebody already replaced the electronic module and it still had the same problem so the next thing they wanted to do was replace the actual controller because there's only two between the wirings there's only the electronic module throttle module and the controller itself but nobody ever thought about the wiring because like I said reasoning would suggest that if you're getting more than 5.5 and there should be a voltage regulator inside the regulator is done it's not doing its job so replace it well guess what they replaced it and still giving out the same thing more than 5.5 so when we do the simulation after this I'm gonna show you what the effect is of corrosion on these wirings okay so I made this circuit to simulate somehow how the regulator would work and what voltage differences inside the regulator and outside of the regulator what the computer or the controller would see versus to what the regulator is outputting so this voltmeter right here is going to show us what the controller would see what voltage the controller would see now remember everything is referenced to battery negative which is 24 volts right so power goes into the regulator which is in the electronic throttle the negative wire which is the orange wire right here this voltmeter is going to show us the output of the voltage regulator and this will be the voltage drop on the actual negative wire or the ground reference wire for the voltage regulator inside the throttle module so right now I have a potentiometer here to simulate corrosion or high resistance if you could high resistance on the ground reference or negative wire going to the voltage regulator so right now I have it at zero meaning I have no resistance whatsoever so this pot right now is going to be my uh, throttle so at zero you're basically at neutral and what I expect is zero voltage out of this so the um, controller at neutral is supposed to see zero volts and once you go to full throttle the controller is supposed to see a maximum of 5.5 .5. and now we're gonna see I'm gonna turn this on and let's see what happens what voltage readings we get so you see right now with zero resistance on my orange wire which is my ground reference wire for the voltage regulator zero voltage zero voltage drop on that negative wire I have 5.01 output from the regulator and with my pot or my throttle pot at zero the voltage that the controller is going to see is also zero okay so let us now simulate if we go to full throttle so you see the voltage still no resistance on the ground wire zero output of the regulator is still at five or close to five the voltage that's being signaled by controller slowly rising so as I go and raise the actual resistance on my pot it goes closer and closer to voltage that is outputted 
or the output voltage of the voltage regulator and at 100% what do you expect to see same voltage from the regulator is seen by the controller okay now let's simulate right now I'm gonna put this down back again to zero so now we're in neutral again let's add a bit of resistance on my wire 10% okay now so now we've added a 10% increase in the resistance on the wire on our ground reference and look at this a voltage drop of 0 0.46 volts but look at the output of my regulator it is still at 5.01 now since I'm still at neutral I still haven't moved the throttle the computer is still see seeing 0 volts now let's try to bump it up so slowly as you can see the voltage going into the controller is rising so one almost two I should go up a bit more 86 89 91 look I'm only at 93 percent and the reading right here is already 5.08 which is already 0 0.07 higher than the output voltage of the regulator don't know note now take a note that my voltage regulator is still holding steady at 5.1 so let's see what the maximum voltage we could get out of this at 100 percent and look at that at a hundred percent what do we see 5.46 volts now remember I told you earlier it is not gonna code out unless it's more than 5.5 the threshold is 5.5 volts so right now this is still gonna be fine it's not gonna code out it's not gonna cut out but what happens if the resistance here on the ground reference wire increases some more look at that at 11 percent we're already at 5.51 at its limits add another 1 percent 12 percent and it's already at 5.55 and as I told you when I was doing the actual test I was reading more than 5.6 almost 5.7 and look at that just a 15% increase sorry just a 15% increase on the resistance on that wire makes a lot of difference on the output of that module and what the voltage that is going to be seen by the controller but the regulator how's my regulator so what's the reading of my regulator still 5.1 but look at this if you add the output of the regulator and the voltage drop on that wire it's gonna add up to what the controller is gonna see